Hello everyone, back to today's second video. Just going to have a quick look at the weather next week, the same days for today's second video. We'll have a look at the GFS, the ECM and uh, the GM, see what they're showing for the next week, 10 days. It will take us to around the 28th of uh, of the month. So I think that's back on Monday, actually. So um, day 10 is back on uh, Monday. We'll see what these uh, models are showing for the next week, 10 days. i uh, just say today's first video update was Joey Friday. You can find that video here on my homepage. Just scroll down page a bit, and it's above bottom count. Um, that is going to take you into the middle of June. June, and the signals are there for uh, a lot of high pressure to carry on into the start of the summer. So it's another bit of a classic JMA Friday uh, this week. This evening, we'll have a look at the uh, late spring bank holiday weekend and also the festivals that will be occurring over uh, the late spring bank holiday weekend. And a couple of updates for those festivals uh, so far. We've got uh, our third one to do uh, tonight. So that'll be after 7 o'clock. We're going to begin with the GFS. This other GFS is looking for uh, Monday. So we've got high pressure dominating on Monday over Scandinavia. We're bringing in these east to southeasterly. Uh, winds. That's how we look on Tuesday. Again, high pressure is in control of the weather. The centre is over Scandinavia, but it's also to the north of Scotland. We're bringing in the wind from an easy direction. The source of the air is actually coming from the southeast. Now, the gradients are quite slack here, so this is indicating the risk of heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms. We've got these kinks in the isobars. Uh, that's where we could be seeing uh, some sort of disturbances developing within the atmosphere. There's also a thundery low down across the Bay of Biscay, but uh, we need to keep an eye on. That's how we look by the middle of next week, so we don't really make too much of that thundery low over Biscay. But again, it's all looking very slack, so I suspect there will be a risk up to the middle of next week of more heavy showers and thunderstorms that particularly so down in the south. Through the second half of next week, though, we actually strengthen the rigs. So that's how we look by Friday, running up to Bank Holiday weekend. The high pressure is dominant over Scandinavia and also to the north of Scotland. We're bringing in these easy winds. They're very warm easterly winds as well. And this high pressure just takes over as we go into the Bank Holiday weekend. Look at that for Sunday, 27th of May. If you want a warm and dry uh, Bank Holiday weekend, uh, that's as good as it gets. The high pressure is centred just to our northeast. We're bringing in these dry and very warm easterly, easterly winds as well. So, classic charts uh, going up towards day 10. That is day 10, Monday 28th of May, where again we've got the high pressure dominating through the UK and going up to the northeast. Well, notice quite low pressure across southern Europe. So, one of those interesting situations coming up here, uh, if the GFS is right, where northern Europe is generally very dry, but southern Europe, down in the Med, in the holiday dest destinations through the Mediterranean, they could be having a lot of heavy showers, possibly even thunderstorms as well, going on uh, down there. Now, as we head up towards uh, the last stage of the month, so we go beyond day 10, GFS wants to take that high pressure to our west, so it starts to pull it more towards the North Atlantic, and that possibly begins to turn things cooler and more unsettled as we go through to the start of June. In fact, we get a northerly here on the 6 o'clock run of the GFS by the first day of June. We're pulling down kind of like an Arctic sort of airstream, which is, again is quite, uh, quite a bizarre sort of uh, change from uh, what we have just a few days before. From that, over Bank Holiday weekend, we, in a few days, go towards that proper Arctic northerly. So uh, I think that's very, uh, very unlikely to come off. It's, uh, I don't think that's particularly well supported by the GFS ensembles. And within the reliable time frame, which up to day 10, GFS is very, very anti-cyclonic. Although there is a risk of some heavy showers and possibly even some uh, thunder as we go through into the early part of next week. So this is cape and lifted. Uh, this is indicating the thundery potential within the atmosphere uh, for Monday. Where we've got these bright colours, these yellow colours, that's where we've got the risk of lightning and thunder across England and Wales on Monday afternoon. So quite a lot of cape actually. On Monday afternoon. Still quite a lot of Cape left on Tuesday, although a little bit less compared to Monday. Then the Cape really comes back again 
on Wednesday. So if that's right, there's quite a lot of convective potential within the atmosphere for England and Wales, particularly through the early part of next week. The model actually doesn't make a lot of those uh, showers and storms of the thundery potential, though. That's a precipitation forecast for 6 o'clock in the evening on Monday. Some showers and storms across Wales and South West England, otherwise not much. Um, perhaps Northern England on Tuesday, but otherwise, again, not a great deal of precipitation going on. And that's Wednesday. Again, might be some showers or storms across parts of the Midlands then. Um, but given the high levels of Cape that we're seeing here for uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll probably expect more in way of uh, downpours. So um, I think you just need to keep an eye on that. It is possible that if this continues to signal um, high levels of Cape through the early part of next week, it's possible we'll do storm watch at some point over the weekend, most likely Sunday. Um, but uh, to be honest, I, uh, I need to see more in way of precipitation being forecast, because despite the high levels of Cape, actually the model at the moment is not signalling all that much in the way of actual precipitation, actual thunderstorms uh, developing. We'll keep an eye on it though because it might uh, get developed by the models over the next day or so. This is the East MWF, so again we've got these warm east to southeast winds through the early part of next week. Uh, that's Tuesday when we've got low pressure down across uh, southern France and the Bay of Biscay. That's thundery low. Uh, by Wednesday, that low pressure is actually moving northwards and uh, it's just off the coast of East Anglia uh, around here. So that could be bringing not only risk of thunderstorms for the early part of next week, maybe even some more general areas of thundery rain into southern and southeastern parts of the country. We'll need to keep an eye on that. Through the second half of next week, that thundery low gets out of the way. We go into the Bank Holiday weekend looking much cooler and more unsettled compared to the GFS. So I'm not sure what's going on here with the ECM. Uh, it does look rather cooler and more unsettled for the Bank Holiday weekend, at least the start of the Bank Holiday weekend. But by the time we get through to day 10, which is Bank Holiday Monday, 28th of May, we are actually ridging this extension from the Azores High across the country. So we finish up in a very similar place to the GFS by day 10. It just takes quite a bit longer to get there and it is overall a more unsettled run. I'm not sure how seriously we take that. And then finally the GEM looking like this. So again we've got those east to south east winds which are very warm and unstable through the early part of next week. That's a thundery low that's moving out of Biscay and France pushing northwards bringing risk at the very least of thunderstorms possibly even more general areas of thundery rain into the south perhaps uh, by Tuesday next week. That fungi low gets out of the way through the middle part of next week. And then we build this ridge up from the Azores High into the south. The north still looks rather unsettled. And we go into a bank holiday weekend with high pressure close to the country, but not in the same position as the GFS has it. So the centre of this high pressure is more just to the west of the UK as we get up to day 10. That is a chart for day 10. Uh, Monday 28th, 28th of May. Now that is still mainly uh, a settled chart. High pressure is still in control. But the difference is that the high pressure is centred to the west of Ireland, which means we bring the air around the top from the northern Atlantic. So obviously that's a much cooler and much fresher position to the high pressure to be to be in compared to the GFS, which has a high pressure uh, in that area. And so it brings the winds up from an east to south east direction. Of course, that's very warm because it's bringing the air in from off the continent. So still a little bit of uncertainty, actually, for next week. Maybe surprisingly so, because the GFS has been very consistent about wanting to build up this huge ridge uh, by the Bank Holiday weekend and give us a very warm and settled weekend. The other two models, the ECM and the GFS, are nowhere near as warm, and they're not quite as settled either for this Bank Holiday weekend. So still a few questions, actually, about the late spring Bank Holiday. I think we do go with the GFS, though, because that's been very, very consistent over the uh, past, few, past few days in wanting to build up this large area of high pressure uh, and develop a major blocking feature, actually, by the Bank Holiday weekend. And it is supported by those longer-range models. I was talking about at the start of the video, the JMA and the CFS V2. They want to keep lots of high pressure going close to the coach, keep it very warm right way through to the start of June. So I think we side with the GFS, and we expect the GFS to be correct about this. 
But with the caveat that the ECM and the GM are both quite a lot cooler and a little bit more unsettled for the bank holiday as well. Talking of the bank holiday, as I said at the start of the video, we've got the uh, third update for those festivals that will be occurring over the bank holiday weekend. That'll be coming up around uh, 7 o'clock this evening. If you aren't interested in those uh, festivals, it will be a bank holiday look ahead as well. Uh, so you'll get to see what the weather may be doing over the late spring uh, bank holiday weekend. But with a specific focus on the events that will be occurring over that weekend. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.